done. Good morning. Beginning in mountain pose for this morning practice. There is a yoga saying that it is all mountain pose. So a very important place to compose yourself externally first. Fine tune the soles of your feet. Close your eyes so you can really focus. So for me, there's lots of kind of wiggling my body to find center, to find stillness. So you can do have your own process of that, of just working your way through the body, maybe starting with your feet, make that clear connection with the earth. Spread feet, press feet, legs active. Just a sense of relaxed length to your spine. Let your hands rest together. Quiet your face. Notice where you feel energy. Perhaps at one of the, the main energy centers, feeling the space between the eyebrows quite active at the moment. Maybe it's your heart, maybe it's your belly. Listen. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Find that navel towards the spine starting to happen as you exhale. I know it doesn't look like you're doing a whole lot, but you're centering, you're grounding, you're extending your spine, and you're breathing deeply. Finding rhythm of breath, sound of breath. And in the windswept season of autumn, it is nice to find some quietness. Inside of that concentration. Let us come together with sound, the sound of all sounds, the sound of the universe, the OM represents different states with the different sounds, the A, the U, the M, and the silent sound. The contradictory, four sounds, including the silence, breathe in deeply. Uh, Bring in that exhalation. Breathe in, open your eyes, release your arms down by your sides. Deep breath in, energize. Deep breath out, ground. There's that balance of the upward and downward energy in every breath. So we begin with an upward reach. Back rib cage come along, comes along too. Reach up, add upward eyes. Straight up. Slowly breathe out and tip forward. There's a whole process in the body. The knees might bend as the pelvis tips and the head comes down. Extend your spine. It's fine if your legs stay bent, especially just starting. Inhale. Low neck. Economize your exhalation to step back to plank pose. So maybe resist breathing out until you get back there and then exhale. Knees down, untuck your toes, inhale to cow spine. Gently bring your heart forward. Exhale, cat spine round. Sorry if I said cat with the cow. Rest your hands. Inhale, heart forward, nose gaze. Exhale, roundness. Move as deeply as it feels good in your body. Express yourself, take care of yourself. Breathe in, ground the tops of your feet. Breathe out, last one, round, tuck, curl. Release back to center and come down to your forearms for cow spine. Don't stray in your neck, just gently bring your heart forward. Feel a flatness in your low back. 
a toning upward of the low belly. And then see what you can soften for your last breath here. Exhale, tell your navel in. Ground your hands and arms. Come back to forearm plank pose. Right leg back, left leg back. If you need to have knees down or hips high, that is fine. Five. This we pull into the belly center with the feet and the elbows. The whole front body comes to the belly. One more breath. Exhale, release down slowly if you can. Land your pelvis. Lengthen back through your legs and feet. Bring them down to the earth and together. Hands by your chest. Let your hands spread open, fan out your fingers. Hug your elbows in by your sides. This is cobra pose. Don't really have to go anywhere. Little cobra. Bringing yourself into a back bend, which is an extension of your spine. Ground into the pelvis and legs. On your last breath in here, lift a little bit higher. And exhale, release down. Press forward and down with your hands, hug the elbows in. Peel yourself up, back to child's pose. To your own degree, bring your hips back. Let your arms come down and rest. Wherever they feel good, maybe drape them. Just let them rest downward as you hold your child's pose position, baby. So each of the poses brings with it energetic qualities in the chakras, those energy centers. Also in the vayus, the prana vayu and the apana. This is an apana vayu pose where we're curled into forwardness, calm in the nervous system, grounded. Downward energy. Breathe in, rise up. Make your way to upward dog. You can just breathe freely as we explore, find those open spreading hands. Need space from the knees to the hands. So pretty far back with your legs to make room for your spine. Pelvis forward, ribs lift, shoulders down off the ears, gaze down. Take a deep breath, maybe lift the tops of your feet, press in there or stay on your knees. Another deep breath. This is a pranic pose. Flip your feet one at a time, pike up your hips, Press your hands to bring weight back into your legs and breathe. Outward rolling shoulders. Creating that V shape, allowing the knees to bend if needed to keep the V and not becoming a U. The Ujjayi breath. Sound through the nose, even breaths. Breathing out once more with that long spine. Breathe in, bend your knees and step to the top of your mat and halfway lift. Slowly breathe out, fold forward. Just the right degree of everything. Rise up, reach up. Match your movement and your breath here. Feel that seal at the top. When your exhale is coming, bring down your arms into your sides, sealing at the end of the exhale there. So we seal up and seal down. Pause, deep breath. Feel that upper flow of energy of the inhale. Inward, upward. Exhale, downward. Also inward. Into the belly center. Keep your right arm along your body. Spin out your left hand. Come up and over into side bending pose. Yogi's choice as far as how deeply you go. Find that spot where it feels good. You're able to hold the shape. Just 
steady your eyes and your breathing. One more exhalation. There's sometimes a little more space there. It's a little growth. Slowly come out. Feel your side body taking you for this low release. Over to the other side, ground your arm. Open the other one up and over. Shoulder off the ear. So hips go out to the side. Go straight over to the side to your own degree. Follow your nose tip to a downward soft gaze. Feel the core strengthening of side pose like this. Also the pressing into the feet and legs. It's grounding and your arms are up. Exhale, powerful stuff. Inhale, a slow release. Up the center, inhale. Exhale, fold. Mindful, your own way, land your hands, bring down your forehead. From the top of your head, lengthen out, extension. Exhale, bring your other leg back first if possible. Finish your breath out. Inhale to upward facing dog, slowly breathe in. Feeling free, of course, to take an extra breath. Sometimes you get that inhale and you just don't get very much. Flip over your feet when you're ready to exhale. Feel warmth in the body, openness. Applying some tapas, which is our discipline. Willing ourselves to stay present with the practice, to put our energy into it. Letting this hour be transformative. One more exhalation with the long spine. Coming out by walking back your hands this time. Bend your knees so you can press, 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 press. Exhale, fold. Feel that diffuse the energy of that walk back. Press your feet, use your legs, rise, reach. Seal your hands at the top of your own inhale. Exhale, bring it on down to the sides of the body. Take a moment to line up the shoulders, the hips, the ankles. Sense of openness across the heart, ease in the arms. And stepping about to the middle of your mat, let's do our first twist of practice today. Like bow and arrow twist, you just have that imagination of pulling the hands away. You can do the fist first, the open hand, and add a look back twist. Nice wide, easy feet and legs. So you're grounded and easy. So you focus on spinal turning. Four, one more breath, energizing. Exhale, soften and centering. Inhale, other side. <clears throat> Refine your foundation if needed to find that ease of turn. The sense of active reaching the arms away from each other, open across the heart. And here we have both the upward and the downward energy present in the pose, all present. One more deep breath of activation and then soften and release, exhalation, center, circle from your hips a few times both ways. Feel the bones connect down to the earth. and stop your swirl coming to the center. Face up forward to the top of your mat. Concentrate deeply in order to step back to high lunge on the ball of the foot, right leg back first. You may hold on to your center or use your centering hands, bend your knee and send back your foot. It's okay if you go down into your warrior A and then spin back up. All that gets easier with practice. Just take a moment to come into that shape, centered knee on the front leg. And let's pulse up and down lightly a few times.
Exhale down. Lean forward and press your foot to come out at a kick. It's okay if you stop on the way through and bring on down pause. Concentration, this moment, step up to high lunge. So bend your standing leg, send your other leg back. So we can train a stance of warrior poses. You can use warrior A, peel down, and then spin it up. Pulse, one, two, three. Just coming up and down a little bit, four, five. Downward, lean forward, press your back foot to come up and out. Pause, kick it out if you can at the end there. So not giving up easily, just demonstrated by me. <laughs> Feel the energy quality of that practice. Let's bend knees and step out to the right side of the mat, the triangle pose. So we'll turn the right leg to the back from the foot to the hip. Reach out your arms, breathe in. Radiate from your belly center, coming over and down. You want to use your lower hand on your belly just to be aware as you come over. That's where it all comes from, is that belly center. Reach up and down, breathe deeply. Breathe in through the spine. The low back long and strong. One more exhale. Legs press, come up slowly to so strengthen the low back muscles coming out of triangle pose every time. Over to the other side, find your turn out. Breathe in, reach your arms and you're ready. Use the lower hand, the front hand on your belly if you want to as you come over and down. Just to have that awareness. Ground your hand if you'd like to change it and then reach up and down, reach through the spine. We're reaching in at least four directions here. Extended is the first word of the name of this pose, Utita. Third breath out. And the fifth breath. One more exhale. Navel towards the spine to come up. Feel that strengthening in the low back. Come up slowly. Release the wide spreading feet and step to the top section of your mat. Pause them for a moment. Take it in. Let us practice mountain pose with the arms reaching up. Tadasana. So sounds super easy. Not really. Um, ground your shoulders. Ground everything from your shoulders down. And then bring up your arms. Make sure you don't just lift your front rib cage. Lift, lift the back too so you're even. Five. Palm space, four. Three. If you'd like to lift up your face towards the sky too, just lift your chin, keep your neck long. Two. Upward hand pose. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out, release. Bring your right leg back from the front of your mat to short, shorter stance, straight legs, foundation for revolving triangle posts. First, let's do Parasol Kanasana with the arms. We're rolling the shoulders in, reach back, breathe in. Breathe out, come together. Knuckles, elbows, up the back if it works for your body, palms press. Breathe in again, long spine, not back bend, straight up. First practice here is the forward folding. So the front knee might bend so you can tip forward. And you can stay right there. If it works to straighten your leg or fold more, you may. Keep your elbows lifted. Actively pressing the feet to activate upana vayu in practice today in our standing poses. That's our downward groundedness energy. One more breath out. 
Follow inhale energy to come up and release your arms. Involving triangle pose, a big, giant, vigorous reach of your right arm. So you want to get as long as possible. Then guide yourself to the forward fold, just like before. So you could stop at any point. You could do the knee bend. Beginning to rotate, just bring your hand to your leg. So you can stop there. All good. We can start exploring this upward reach of the other arm, maybe coming to the floor outside the foot. Stay where you feel good today. Five, four, three, new perspective. One more breath, open your heart towards the sky, wherever you're working, and breathe out to release any twist. Breathe in, rise up, shoulders back, step up, second side. Set that foundation, so important to take a moment for that refinement there. Parsvottanasana, bring back the arms again, knuckles holding on, palms pressing. And this develops over time with practice, keep practicing. Exhale, so I let that knee bending on the front leg tip forward, so you can work with that, maybe straightening, maybe folding more. Lifting elbows, five breaths. No force, no strain. One more exhale. Follow in breath, come up. And release your arms, keep your foundation. <clears throat> Gigantic reach, left side of the body. Forward fold, rub off triangle pose. Come to the shin, perhaps. Great place to work. Like my other hand on the waist, maybe adding some outward reaching. Work where you are with this pose. Make sure you can breathe. Press into your lower hand to help create your twist. And one more breath. Using exhale to release twisting. Wait for inhale to stand up. Step out, left B. Before we practice the warriors today, let's come to easy standing and touching the lower two fingers with the thumbs. This is the Pran Mudra, the earth gesture. The earth seal standing in a relaxed way. First, let's take energy of inhale from navel to the third eye. So just think of moving the back from your belly to the center of your forehead. And then down through the torso, through the legs, all the way into the earth. Again, navel to forehead, inhale. Exhale down to the ground. What happens now if we breathe in and think downward? Inhale, thinking downward. Exhale, thinking upward. Imagine yourself as a tree. Do it one more time. Inhale down into the roots, combining downward and rising energies. Exhale to the sky, fill out the crown. And relax, release. Creating peaceful states, vibrant states in your body and your mind. Now let's practice the three warrior poses together today. Warrior A position so that Step back with the right leg into that high lunge, coming down. So there's a ground equality, focusing on that for a moment, a little tail tuck energy possibly. And then we have this upward energy as well. Be, in, be present with all of that. 
Back foot, really important here. Drives the energy of the pose with the arch. Last breath in warrior A. Exhale, bring down your arms. Inhale, open to warrior B. Back toes, foundation shifts. Reach your arms, turn your head. Seeing that back foot, that energy of the pressing, lifting the arch. Forward breath, settle in, get grounded. One more breath out. Staying with the shape of the legs, bring down your arms, reversing warrior, up and back. Other hand on your back leg, look towards your back foot. If you want to bend your elbows and come to cow face arms, you may do that as an option. Hold steady, strengthen your legs. One more time, breathe out. Release your torso and arms and lean and reach for the last variation, extended side angle pose, Mutita Parsa Kanasana. How the forwardness of this is calming after the energetic quality of the last one. Even though it's a strong pose, one more breath, my arm goes way down, just reaching up and out. Inhale, come up, turn the wide parallel feet. Exhale, slowly go forward, maybe your knees bend. Out and down, calm, ground. Both arms to the right leg. Just relax and drape over that way a bit. Bring some blood flow to your brain. The roots of the big toes grounded. And one more exhalation. So you have time in that last exhale to just make your finish to feel complete. Other side, transition, drape, wrap, hang down. Let your eyes relax. Feel how the whole body is connected. Breathe out one more time. Come out with some care from that forward fold combined with twisting, returning to the center. Eyes up. Top section of your mat, your Vajrasana second side. I actually feel pretty empowered by, by, by this part of the practice. I hope you do as well, where you feel strong and open, just like the names of the poses suggest. Your Vajrasana A. This is a centering, finding that lift in the back arch, groundedness. Then Vigorous upward arms with the shoulders off the ears. Just face the palms today. If you'd like to, lift your chin. Your gaze stays towards your nose, which now goes up. And then you can shift upward eyes if you like. And the fifth breath. Good. Exhale, bring down your arms. Inhale, open to warrior B. So we practice enough. We just need that one inhale and then exhale, settle. Lifting the back arch. Concentrate on balancing. Effort and ease. Another deep breath. Exhale, keep the legs, reverse warrior, lean back. Gaze to the back foot. Cow face, Gomakasana arms if you would like. Four, inhale. Last breath complete. Good. 
With the exhale, let go of that shape. Coming to the last one, lean and reach. So your arm, shoulders off the ear, arm is long, and it reaches out along your ear, up and out. Check with your foundation and then hold steady. And the last one. Exhale. Inhale, press, rise, and turn. Breathe out. Step into the top section of the mat. Perhaps coming to wall pose for a dancer pose today. So have that support, even if you just have it there in case you need it. If you don't need it, that's okay. Shift weight into right leg, standing tall. Bend your knee. Catch your ankle or your foot with one or both hands to do preparation first, or just trying to fold in that leg before we move into the extension of the spine. So here, high opening, deep concentration, so good for you. Determination, tapas, that fiery energy that you can do it. One more time. If you need to, pause for a reset, bring down your foot. If you don't, begin leaning forward, lifting your back knee, and then press your foot into your hand. Reaching forward with the opposite arm. Trying to do this in your own way. You wanna have nice space for your low back in this pose. Standing knee can bend. Three, two more breaths. With the exhalation, try to come down with slowness if you can. Resist completely. Just don't let yourself go into the need to, and then you do. Pause a moment, feel that one sided difference, and prepare to balance it out the other side, shifting weight into the standing legs. You lift out of the hip. It gives us room to get that foot off the floor. One or both hands, maybe using the wall. Heart, heart stretch. You might feel tightness in the front creases of your shoulders where you have them a little forward. Let them be open. That openness of the heart. And this pose in general is the prana bayu pose where we experience that inward and upward energy. Exhale, reset your foot if you need to, lower down. Okay, back up and second one, lean forward, lift the knee. Maybe go further, add the reach out. The standing leg straight can come in by more bending in the leg if you need it, and then maybe work on the straightening. Two more deep breaths. Focusing on any part of this practice. One more. Slow coming down if possible. Concentrate on resisting coming out. And when you are ready to land, land. Center. Utkatasana, five breaths, bend your knees, reach your arms, feet hip distance or together. Shoulders down, arms reach, focusing on that extension and upwardness today. Five, four, three, two, fierce pose, last breath. One, press your legs straight, tip your pelvis forward. Balancing energy in Uttanasana, forward fold. Yogi's choice. So I'm gonna go for the roots of my big toes with my hands on the inside today. Just getting the fingers under that place and doing an energy hold if you wanna try that. And hold your elbows or wherever your arms wanna be. For one, slow breaths. Two, 
the panic, the panic vipers. Downward. Feeling the wind of your breath for one more exhale. And release your hands to the earth. Stepping back to right leg first. Bring your arms to the inside. Lizard lunge, we're working on this with a little focus this month. So it is this turn out from the hip. And lots of variations. Knee down behind or stay on the bottom of the foot. Stay up on the hands or down to the forearms or one, one forearm is fine. Nice long neck, five breaths where you feel something good. You can roll to the outside edge of that foot. One more exhalation. Carefully find that edge. Bring down your back knee. Bring your foot leg out to the side. The Parigasana pose, the iron latch of the gate, grounding your inner foot. Nice and upright. A moment if you need to pat your knee or anything. So the word asana, when you say pose, that means home. Parigasana, becoming one with this position for five breaths. Different from stretching. Just mindful holding of the body, activation. One more. and release. This month also working on half moon pose from the knee. So we need to turn our hip out to the side to recreate half moon from the knee. So bring down your hands, turn your knee and your hip to the side. Maybe use both hands to practice that leg lift. The upper body is like triangle pose, this reach up and down. So explore any of those actions. Steady breath and eyes. For me, this reveals some hip instability. Where you notice it in your body. One more breath. Carefully release. Out to your belly. Slide out on your mat, long body. Bring back your hands and weave your fingers together. Lift your head and chest, reach towards your feet, five breaths. If you want to float up your feet as well, you may, only if it feels good in your body. Pranavayu, upward energy. Fills us with good health. One more breath. Relax your knees. Balasana, or downward dog if you prefer, child's pose or down dog variations. Is there something you can soften anywhere? Last breath. Inhale, rise. Circle back to the lizard on the other side by doing the half moon preparation first. So it's that turning out of the knee and hip, grounding that foot, coming over to your hands and finding that reach of your back leg. So there are all these different elements to half moon pose and one of them is that activation and reach the back leg. You wanna add the arms, you may. Take five breaths of just trying to find some aspect of this pose today. Feel that pranavayu energy, that open upward. Exhale. 
relax release. Parigasana, so front kneeling forward face, take out the right leg, ground the foot, over into the side stretch as you're ready. For your last breath, to see if you feel more of an upward or downward energy in this pose. There's no wrong answer. Inhale when you're ready to release. And bring that right leg forward for it was your pose, second side, coming the inside with the arms. Several rounds of breath to explore where your back knee or foot feels good. Maybe roll into the outside of the foot a bit. Five breaths. One. Two. The sound of your breath is supportive. Gives your brain something to do. Exhale one more time. And release, bring back the leg. Tabletop position, adding the revolution. Um, take your left arm open out to the sky, breathing in, breathing out, dive it through. Let's open again to any degree. Weave it through, don't ground it yet. We'll land it next time, once more. Relieving some mid back stiffness, possibly coming through and coming down carefully to revolved threading needle pose. Feet can come together. Use your right hand on the earth for stability. You may cushion under your shoulder, your head if you need it. New perspective, and you're in charge. How deeply you practice, the right hand can leave the earth. If you wanted to, only if it feels safe. Five breaths. Uriyana Bandha, Mula Bandha. Activate your core engagements. That's how we find stability deeply. And just one more exhale. Be careful, return up to center. Rise up to your knees, roll back your shoulders, breathe in deeply. Breathe out, lion's breath. Second side. If you need to put your knees in a new spot, you can. Any refinements, and then open out, right arm, breathe in. Breathe out, thread, but don't land. Ouch. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, rotate. Third one. And release carefully and slowly, using the left hand for control. Feet together, lower your head carefully. If you're on your skull above your ear to start with, and then you can adjust, refine, roll towards the back of your head, maybe release your arm if it feels safe. Try to engage the low belly in and up. Breathe five times. Once more. Returning up and out, come through and sit down. Keep your time with that process. Feeling free to elevate your pelvis on a blanket or something. Let's practice by your lungs pose today. So let's just come to easy pose to begin, folding your legs in a way that works 
in your body. Arriving here for the first time in our practice today. Breathe in with a toss sign. Breathe out, rotate to the right side. Draping your left, your right arm behind your waist. Look back, twist. Upana Bayo. Grounded energy. One more exhale. And release. All the way to centering. Then the other side, remember the long, long belly rotation. Drape the arm, that inward rolling shoulder come behind your waist. Look back, twist. One more, exhale. And returning to center. Fire logs pose has us stretch our outer hip, the piriformis area with um, legs coming away from the body, stacking the shin bones, active feet. So with yourself, um, this is a pose that has never come easily or naturally to my body. So um, there are those poses and we just find a way to work with them so that it feels Therapeutic to us, find just that sweet spot where it might be your own expression. So those are my introductory words. So you may add some forwardness to this pose, a hinge forward. Just go easy. Come to a place where you've got some sensation. It might be a little deep. It's okay for there to be a little heat in this pose. Breathe five times. Make peace with strong sensation at times. Never holding in pain. You must know the difference. One more breath. Coming up and out from this side. Releasing so that we can bring the other leg in front or on top. Keeping those, the feet bright activates the muscles in the legs to help you protect your knees and hips as you come. So working your way into your version of this shape. Potentially tipping forward slightly. Support with your arms. Some people all the way to the floor, wherever you are with that, come on in. For five. Four. And exhale one more time. Slowly release up and back. Be carefully release the legs back to Sukhasana. Let's take the legs out in front now. Reach to the tops of the feet. Activate the legs, fingers forward, hands back about a foot. Bend your elbows, lean back, lift your heart, gaze down. Optional, press your hands, lift your hips off the floor or just stay active with the reaching feet and the lifted heart. Your choice. You don't have to take your head back. If it feels good, you can. One more deep breath. Carefully release. And this time, come to Vata Kanasana, bring the feet together, the knees apart too. Give the inner legs some opening. You may adjust the distance between your pelvis and your heels to your own comfort. 
release side to side on your sitting bones to release the flesh around them and to find center. Hold your ankles, straight arms, straight spine, sit tall, breathe in. Breathe out, tuck your chin. Breathe in, lift your chin. Breathe out, hinge forward with your heart coming first. To any degree, and then relax down your head. Finish your breathing five more times. Once more, breathe out. Wait for your own breath. Feel that new move, that energy of inhale starting and growing as you come up. And from these, let's take a pause here to put on long sleeves, socks, hoodie with the hood, blanket. Just have your stuff for a finishing practice today. Lots of strong work. Time to come to the back body. Um, Sliding back, reaching through the arms and legs. Bend your knees, slide in your heels, and then lift your feet and lift them up towards the sky. Bring down your arms and slide your hands under your pelvis for supported shoulder stand. Again, in our practice today, just observing the energy of the shape. Do you feel more of a prana or an apana sense in this pose? Maybe it's one that balances the two. This upward and downward energies. It's okay to just put questions out there in the practice and not really have to wait for answers, but just to let the wonderings be wondered, the observations be observed. Strengthening our ability to listen inwardly. Careful release of your hands from underneath and bringing down of your legs once again, separating them, finding Ananda Balasana in your body, the happy baby pose shape, two knees pose of some sort to finish side to side a little bit and then center. More breath. Releasing your legs out, perhaps look at the cushion under the knees or under the head or blankets over top. Shavasana. The ultimate aponic pose, the downward energy pose, the heaviness, groundedness. Spend a few moments with refining so that you feel nothing is stuck in this pose. Nothing is trapped. All is free. All is open. Well-deserved rest. And no matter what you have in the future, in the present, your body needs to receive this information.
Let all efforts dissolve. Keep a gentle connection with your breathing. The next time that you breathe in, let that breath stretch. Also let the breath out stretch. Just go slowly with exhales, slowly, slowly. Then lengthen just the right side of your body. Reach up your right arm, reach down your right leg and do whatever your body does when you ask it to lengthen on that side. And then breathe out, relax the right side and let the left side lengthen, have that invitation. Relaxing back to center, lengthen the front of your body Point your toes, gently lift your um, belly into the air to arch your back. Lift your heart. Exhale, lengthen the back of your body, stretch through your heels. Bring down your arms, reach to the top of your head. Just try to express back body lengthening on your back. And relax. Whichever side of your nose feels more open, Go that way, roll up. And rest the back of one hand in the other with the thumbs touching. Feel that space. Fill it with love, fill it with gratitude. Get in there quickly with something good. sense of peace that may be shared. Practicing the OM sounds again, if you would like the A and the M and silence, inhale deeply. Uh, Thank you. 